Well, as Marcus just mentioned, it wasn't a great week for the ASX, with the federal government announcing ASX will be stripped of its role supervising and policing markets. Its monopoly grip on securities trading has been considerably weakened as well. Cathy Swan reports. Buying or selling, the one player that never loses on the stock market is the operator, the ASX, which clips the ticket on every trade. While the exchange can trace its history back to the 1860s, it all got a little too complex about a decade ago when the monopoly holder also became a listed company, making it both umpire and player. In the last financial year, the ASX had revenue of about $538 million, and if you think that the profit there was about $445 million, so it's a huge margin that they're operating at. It's about an 83-85% profit margin. But that's all about to change. Australia will have a single, unified supervisor for market participants. That supervisor will be the Australian Securities and Investments Commission. While much of the commentary has been about the ASX losing its regulatory role, the big issue is that the change of umpire is a necessary precursor to opening the door to competition. It would be necessary for this system to be in place before those entrants could enter the market. It will not be necessary for this system to be in place for the government to further consider uh, those entrants. Three companies, Axe, ECN, Liquidnet and Chiax, all put their hands up for a licence to operate some time ago, promising competition would mean lower costs. We look at the Australian market and think that the benefit will be in the order of about two billion Australian a year. Uh, that's a pretty significant number for a country like Australia. Tony Mackay is chairman of Chiax Global, which wants to use its electronic trading technology to offer traders, large and small, an alternative to the ASX and eventually claim market share here of about 20 to 30 per cent. Our business model will be to provide bid and offer quotes um, that will be um, shown alongside the ASX and um, Axe or anyone else, and we expect that people will go where the best price is. Chiax already operates in Europe, Canada and Singapore and Tony Mackay says business is bigger than just taking market share from the incumbent. The stocks that Chiax has been most active in have actually increased in volumes on their exchange as well. So that means the pie has got bigger for everybody. Liquinet is not competing directly with the ASX. Liquinet is a broker that uses technology to bring together institutional buyers and sellers more efficiently than anywhere else. Steve Zilioli says Liquidnet has actually been operating here for more than a year, basically matching up large institutions wanting to trade blocks of shares without having to display bid or offer. Such trades are known as dark pools, and the institutions like them because the market's not alerted, so price is not affected till after the deal's done. It's so critical to recognize the differentiation between retail and wholesale marketplaces. Equity trading is the only place in the world where you find, you find retail and institutional investors forced to try to trade upon the same platform. The remaining applicant, Axe ECN, is a joint venture led by the New Zealand Stock Exchange with four big US investment banks and online broker Comsec. Axe ECN put its proposal in about two years ago and is reportedly underwhelmed that the process is taking so long. It's certainly since closed its Australian offices. Officially, NZX says it's following developments with interest, but there's speculation about whether it's still interested enough to proceed. There's a chance that they won't even bother to continue uh, going into business with this model because Potentially Chai X and Liquidnet will have put enough pressure, downward pressure on trading prices for them to get the result they were looking for. Nathan Lynch, Managing Director of Global Compliance Experts, Complinet's Asia-Pacific Operations, says there's expected to be plenty of interest from new entrants. The lesson from overseas has been that as soon as you open it up, there's a flood of providers that are, that are waiting to come in and, and chip into the market. So in the US you're looking at about 40 alternative trading platforms. In Australia it's a much smaller market but we'd expect to see at least five taking advantage of this. 
The ASX was initially critical of the move to allow other exchange operators, citing concerns about transparency and market integrity. But by last November, it had come up with a proposal for its own off-market or dark pool exchange in a package of suggested rule changes which are yet to be approved. We clearly intend uh, to have our own um, dark pool. I think all that will that w what will differentiate our dark pool from everybody else's is that it is it will be structured in a way where the execution prices can only come from our own central limit order book. For the new regulator ASIC, it all adds up to a more fragmented securities market, but the licence applicants say it won't be that difficult to keep an eye on. There's now a very good technology to allow a regulator um, and market participants to amalgamate um, all the market data feeds and uh, reportings and executions from various venues and put it all together and get a, a picture of the total market. Liquidness process is very transparent and Liquidnet's process, Liquidnet does a lot of the work for the regulators on their own in that we strictly limit the types of firms that can be members of Liquidnet. The market seems to be fairly confident that ASIC can do this role. Um, there's, there's a strong likelihood that they'll get a lot of talent coming across from the ASX and they've also got a lot closer to the market recently with their strategic review. The plan is to have ASIC take over as regulator in about a year, with the new exchanges looking to push their start buttons as soon as October 2010. But that all depends on whether the government gets its push for change through its own dark pool in the Senate.